So apparently putting a yellow LED in liquid nitrogen turns it into a green LED. But why is that? The smaller the wavelength of an emitted photon is, the higher is the photon energy. In this case, we observed a color shift from yellow to green, which means an increase in emitted photon energy. In an LED, the emitted photon energy directly corresponds to the band gap of the semiconductor material used. The band gap is basically the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band. The band gap energy and thus the energy of the emitted photons depends a lot on the temperature. It increases with decreasing temperature and decreases with an increasing temperature according to the equation shown here. This change in energy levels is usually so small that it cannot be observed as an apparent change in color in the normal operating temperature range. With a temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius or minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, liquid nitrogen is more than capable of causing an energy shift that is large enough to be visible for the human eye. When the LED is removed from the liquid nitrogen, this effect is quickly reversed when the LED heats back up to room temperature. This concludes the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and enjoy the B-roll footage at the end of the video.